It's the NFL on EA Sports. And at center stage, it's the Raiders' leader at quarterback. Your top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Raiders and the Texans. And it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 23. Got a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open, and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Today, we've got a Week 13 matchup for you here between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Houston Texans. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And CD, you look at the Raiders in this matchup. Well, they're pacing the NFL in passing yardage this season, but a tough test awaits them to stay in that top spot as they face one of the league's best secondaries. And partner, with how they've played this season, both sides are awfully confident they'll be able to put up big-time numbers. I think it's going to be a very entertaining game just because of that. So let's say it together. Eventually, something's got to give. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. Takes it at the 7. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And they'll be let out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. He enjoyed watching that game tape, didn't you? Yeah, that looks he's game. good. Four I mean, touchdowns, one pick. Now, you were a little upset about the pick. I didn't know if you would play him this week or not <laughs> if you were the head coach. Hey, they got the win. They got the win, so you got to give him another okay, chance. Give him another shot. All right, I think the ratio is pretty good. He'll try to eliminate the interception, but he wants to keep that hot streak going, throwing touchdown passes. And his first look is incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Hands it off out of the gun. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 16 yards on that one, and also a Texan first down. It was just third down and short, but he'd been off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it. Okay, they got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to roam. And that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out. They did. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Back to throw. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. He wants to throw it here. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They try the fake field goal. It doesn't work out. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. So here are the Raiders now with great starting field position. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center. Their 6'4 quarterback. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl-type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. Ready, ready! Here's Jacobs on first and ten. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. 
under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They'll set up a throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And a week ago, as you get a look at the numbers, well over 100 yards, he was on fire. He was on fire. Obviously, the offensive line was on fire, all the guys who were trying to assist him. But you know who else was? The play caller. Because his ego totally got out of the way, and he kept calling the plays that were working over and over, and they really didn't stop him. Now the challenge, can they duplicate it? Ready. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. The Texans had eight and three now. And they're coming on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And last week was a bit of a nail-biter, a three-point victory. But it's also the kind of game that reveals the team's true character. They fought all the way and came out victorious. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. First play, the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Rolling to his left. And his throw here is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of him, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try to pass downfield the fell incomplete. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and ten. Houston set to take over. And partner, I know so far, we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And you know, there's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, 
And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. So first interception thrown for him there. And that really not the best decision either. Not at all. And that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game. But this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if they're going to turn it into points. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. He'll look to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. The time called here because a member of the Texans is in some discomfort. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Second and three. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed me to get... And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Kadarius Tony. His first touchdown on the year. And the Texans take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. How does the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away? And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. Las Vegas' is offense back out there, ready to go. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. And the drive starts with a completion left side, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll run right here with Jacobs. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Raiders with the football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. They're going to look to throw. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. But nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. Back to throw now on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Jenkins. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Second and nine now. Same target. It's Jenkins again. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Looking to throw. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 26. Two minutes gone by second quarter. They go play action here on first down. And he's got his man in stride complete. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. The Raiders on third down. Just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Second and goal from the one. 
Now back to throw. And he's got Renfro in the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Raiders are an extra point away from drawing Rubble. So second and goal there from the one. They go to the air. And the perfect down to throw the football in this sequence. Second down is always kind of the, do they throw it? Do they run it? They worked it out to perfection on that one by throwing it into the end zone. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now out comes Houston. As this offense takes a field again, it's been a while since they've been out there. We just saw that long touchdown drive by the opposition. But remember, when this crew was out here last, Charles, they scored as well. And let's make sure we give both offensive staff some credit, especially the offensive coordinators, because we spoke with both of them in the lead up to this game, and both were really confident in their game plans. They felt like they had scouted their opponents and focused on specific areas of practice this week to make sure that they were ready to go. And frankly, it looks like they both did an excellent job. Yeah, we'll see if those game plans can keep this streak of touchdowns going here. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Back to throw here. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. So here's a first and ten now in Raider territory at the 48-yard line. And down he goes. Brought down a Raider sack. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here slow to get up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. He'll look to throw. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. They'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 31-yard line. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Down inside the 10. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Merrin. And the Raiders are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Delivering another one here to Darren Waller. He's got it again. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll look to throw. Throw right side going to be caught by Waller. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Coming up on second and seven. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's caught by Waller out left side. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. They'll throw now on the final play. The open man here, Renfro. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It's week 13. So let's get an update on what's going on. We'll get started up at Lucas Oil Stadium in the capital city of Indianapolis. And it's the 49ers who are out in front with that game closing in on halftime. A touchdown pass for Trey Lance in that one. From there, we head over to the Pacific Northwest, check on the Seahawks at home in Seattle. And for the moment, they find themselves trailing the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow has thrown a touchdown pass. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world and see what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And they were losers in that one to the visiting L.A. Chargers. Keenan Allen, 100 yards receiving on the nose and a touchdown catch as well. On now to a check on the next-gen stats in the first half for the Raiders. And there's not much to speak of in terms of passing efficiency, but in a tie game, they know a few tweaks could make a big difference going forward. Meanwhile, for the Texans, they too have found passing lanes to be hard to come by so far. As you see by the numbers, they'll need to figure that out in the second half. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. This one fielded at the 5. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter. Curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Let's this go for Winfro downfield. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he did not reel it in. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Texans will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break? Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And the Raiders are going to take possession of the football. It's so rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL regardless of status or experience. Whether it's in person or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. Right. Here's a second and seven. And quickly into the hands of Waller. Touchdown, Raiders! Darren Waller, 35 yards. And the Raiders take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six foul. points. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. But Houston's offense taking over again. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. 
And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this path. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And the Raiders are going to take possession of the football. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Quickly a slant to Renfro. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Second and one. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jalen Petrie picking up the sack on a safety blitz. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. They'll look to throw here. Touchdown! Devontae Adams with career touchdown number 125, moving him into a tie with Walter Payton on the all-time list. And the Raiders go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now 21-7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. Well, this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last timeout on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And you definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, tried to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That third down conversion, good for 23. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll set up to throw. On the slant, complete to Hopkins. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 34-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. They're going to look to throw. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. He'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Raiders are going to take over here up near the 40. 
boy, Charles, that is now three interceptions in three consecutive drives, and you can see he's just got a look of disgust and bad body language, understandably, as he walks off the field. And I think it comes from the fact that he's not sure what he sees down the field, Brandon. I don't know if he's seeing ghosts. I don't know if he just can't read defenses. I'm not sure. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Derek Stingley getting home on the corner blitz. And following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Looking to throw. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage. Because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. 70 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 40. Now back to throw. That's complete once again to Hopkins. And he's going to get this down near to 25. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Second and long. His throw incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Max Crosby in there for the sack, and that is now 21 for him on the year. Wow, what a season. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Man open, it's Tony. He's got it. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they manage to convert, and that will keep the drive alive. Now they'll run on the draw. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They run a draw here on second down. Ready up. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run this one in. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. 
Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too And my goodness, another interception. And the Raiders are going to take over at their own two-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And now a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Bronco switch, Bronco switch. Second down, Jacobs once more. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They'll set up a throw. That's going to be caught along the sideline, and what a job of keeping his feet in bounds. They say that's a catch. That gain... Shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want to challenge and they're going to get ready. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the Texans with great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Hurry, hurry. Fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Ready? Back to throw here. And he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one going to fall incomplete. He'll drop to throw. It's complete to Hopkins. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. So from the 17, here's second and seven. Back to throw again. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Once again, it's Jacobs. 
And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Jacobs going to try the middle. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. On second down, Jacobs. And not much doing. He'll get this only up to about the 36. And they'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So for Las Vegas, they continue to make their case for the playoffs as they move to 9-3. And, and they'll have another road date next week with the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for Houston, it's a tough one to swallow as they drop back to 8-4 and four on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against Jacksonville. Thank mm -hmm. you.